This is my review and unboxing for BoxyCharm for April 2020. This is my base box. It's the one I personally subscribe to. I pay for it. Um, and it's from a different account. So BoxyCharm doesn't know that it's me um, that's getting a box. So this box weighed 1.25 pounds. I'm pretty sure it will be down in the description box. But um, I'm pretty sure it's 1.25 pounds. That's how it comes. I already see version 18. So, as always, when you open this up, it tells you everything in the box. Down here are spoilers for the box we locked for June. Um, I know everybody is getting the Kylie skin and the tart. They have released that information. I'm not sure about the swell bottle, but that could be in the box. I don't know if that's a variation or if that's going to be in every box. So, that's that. There's a little advertisement for the makeup eraser. And, let's see. Okay, I'm going to start with this one because I'm really excited to get it. It's the makeup eraser. I love makeup erasers. They're a great product. I have got some in subscription boxes and then I bought some. This is so cute. This is full size. I love the rainbow color. I think it's called Sorbet. Sunset. Sunset. And it retails for $22. I love this. I was hoping to get this. So, glad it's in my box. Then we have the Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Cleansing Foam. Pretty sure this was a choice item. I'll have to go back to spoilers to check. Um, but I like it. It's something I would have picked anyway. It's um, because I have a lot of palettes. So I know I didn't select a palette for this box because I have so many. And, you know, if I can get a, a product I will use more, I'll select that over a palette. So. It retails for $32. It says it's packed with nourishing superfoods to help calm and hydrate skin while lifting makeup, dirt, and grime. Um, it says a soothing formula helps comfort skin caused by dehydration and leave skin with a fresh looking complexion. So, looks great. It runs my face multiple times a day, so definitely will use that. Then we have the Pore Professional Primer. This is the other item that could have been the choice item. I don't remember. I don't remember if the cleanser or the primer. Somebody knows down below, they'll tell me. Um, this one is $32 and it's a really nice primer. I hadn't had it for a long time. I did get it in my review box, so I'm not opening this one to swatch. It does, like, it looks like it has a tint to it, um, but, like, it doesn't. Um, it, I mean, you know, it blends in and it doesn't, you know, show any kind of color on your face. It's not like a CC cream or anything. So, this is really nice. It does, you know, Give you a nice foundation before you apply your foundation. But I, I've liked it so far. I've been using it. Then we have the brushes. This is another item I got in my other box. I'm going to keep these in the package because, um, you know, I could, I might give these away or I, I might end up using them. But I just don't want to open it and use them and then not have anyone else be able to use it. But they're from Lavish. It's a five-piece neon eye brush collection. There is a very similar set on Walmart Moda brushes. I think they were $10. These retail for $30. I do really like them. I think they're good quality brushes. They don't, I mean, you can get cheap, really good brushes, and then there's expensive, really good brushes. Um, I never spend that much on brushes, you know, but if I get some nice ones in a subscription box, I definitely will use them. But I, I did use this for um, my birthday, and thought I'd get fancy, even though I'm going to be at home. And they worked really well, so I really like this stuff. Last item is the Iconic Illuminator, and this is an original, so I got the same shade in my review box. Again, you can check out that video for swatches, but it's very similar. I'm trying to think of the other product, but it's a like a, a very shimmery, um, like you only like one of those, a tiny drop for this. You can mix it with foundation, and I tried that, and I just used a little bit, but I still felt like, I don't I'm, you know more middle-aged than not middle-aged so it probably is just not something I personally should do but if you're you know like 20 or 30 it might work for you I just felt like I had a little bit too much texture um and it wasn't the amount I used I just think it I think it just made my you know like any kind of texture in my face more noticeable so but as a highlighter I really enjoy it so that's how I'm going to use it and again this might be gifted or swapped or something since it's going to take forever to use one bottle and it retails for $41 so that is everything in my box it's actually kind of similar to my base box I mean these three 
items are the same as my review base box. Overall though, I like my my actual subscription box better. So I know a lot of people wonder, do they just give all the good boxes to, you know, the influencers and you leave everybody else with what's left and I maintain that that's, that's a no. I feel like um, it is pretty random. I mean, now granted, I'm not, you know, some giant YouTuber. I mean, I have a YouTube channel, but I'm far from like some huge influencer. So, um, I can't speak to that, but just my personal review boxes versus subscription boxes, I have not noticed that review boxes get anything better. And if anything, I feel like my subscription boxes I've liked more. Um, I think I did a head to head. So if you're ever interested, um, I do have a box review where I did head to head on a review box versus my subscription box for a month and I'm fairly certain the subscription box won out. In any case, I love BoxyCharm. I think it's a great subscription, $25 a month. You get a lot of stuff. Even if you don't like one of the items in your box, there are Facebook pages you can swap those items and the other items should make up for it. I mean, this is like, what, $22, I think? I mean, this is almost the value of the box, just the makeup eraser, and that's something I buy um, and use on a regular basis. So that in and of itself, plus one other item, pays for your box. So if you're interested in subscribing, they have Base Box Premium and Boxy Lux all are down below. And I will have, I have reviews on um, Premium this month too, so you want to check that out. There's spoilers up for May and June, so bookmark those and keep checking back because I'm always adding to them. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.